Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will explore how to listen for keyboard and mouse action so you can make your web page interactive. So let's jump right in, right? So this is our HTML part, right? And you can see I'm having a heading and then our input and whose ID is text input, right? And we are having a div, which is a hover box, right? And inside of this, it is written hover me. Right, and we are having a paragraph also, uh, which is till now blank, but we will fill it with the help of JavaScript and then uh, script tag to connect our JavaScript. Right, so here we are having a small CSS part also for our this particular div, which is a hover box. Right now, it is having width, it is having height, is having background color, margin, text alignment, padding, and font weight. Right, so let's see that how it is looking first. So it is looking like this you can see nothing is happening right now but yeah there's an input field like this on which we can enter and a hover me div right now let's go to the javascript and start the process so first we will select the item so you can see i'm having this const text input that is document dot get element by id text input what is that text input this is particular this input you can see this is the id and that we have selected with the help of document dot get element by id right same we have done for the hover box and the output also right i hope you can understand the concept till now now coming forward to uh, now text input dot add event listener bracket now what is the event on which we are applying the add event listener now since first we are going to deal with the keyboard event right so for the keyboard event the event is key up key up right so you write key up like this right now after comma bracket e like this arrow function right now output output is that paragraph right this particular paragraph you can see so this is the output paragraph now on this output dot inner text equals to let's take the bucket you typed and use a template literal here uh, so whatever you have entered right inside the text input that is stored in e so we will use e dot target to get the particular input field and then dot value by the value we got the actual value which is written inside the input field right so whatever you will write will get stored inside this particular you typed and then here it will be shown here right i hope you understood that how we deal with the keyboard events right now let's deal with the mouse event so here we will do two different things that is first the for the mouse enter and then for the mouse leave right so let's do that so we are having hover box hover box dot add event listener like this inside of this we will write mouse enter comma and then like this now inside of this we will write what basically we will deal with the uh, css part so we will write hover box dot style dot uh, let's change the background right so background equals to let's say uh, let's make it light green light green like this and after that we will do what we will make the inner text as hello right let's change the inner text earlier it is what it is hover me now we will write hover box dot inner text equals to hello right yeah now since by this event what will happen let me show you let me show you here so we have already applied the javascript when i take my mouse you can see my cursor when i take this to this hover box you can see the content got changed right now it is color is green and the text is hello then hover me right now when i take my mouse out i want this to be uh, in the same state at, as it was in previous time right so for that what we will do we will simply just do the same thing let's just copy it down and paste it here now this time we are not going to use mouse enter this time we will use mouse 
leave l e a v e right this earlier we use mouse enter this time we will use mouse leave and now again i want that uh, the color should get changed to the light blue like earlier and the text to be what over me right so yeah like this fine i hope you understood the concept now for the button which we have made here okay we have not made any button okay sorry uh, basically when on the mouse click right i want that uh, you just let me do that first then i will explain it better to you like hover box dot add event list now what i want that when i click on that particular hover box now i want that a alert should come for that we can do what we can make it the event like click right and then let's create an arrow function here like this inside this i want to say that whenever you click on that particular hover box you make an alert saying you clicked the box right like this now let's go and see that how it is working so you can see it is in the previous state hover me when i take my mouse inside the color got changed and the content got changed when i take it back you can see it is again like you can see every time i'm taking mouse enter and leave it is working like this got it now when i write inside this input field what do you think is going to happen well this time we are going to deal with the keyboard event you can see whatever i am writing is now getting printed here you can see it is same like this got it and when i click on it you can see i am getting a alert so by this we deal with the mouse and the keyboard events in javascript i hope you understood the concept very clearly it was in very detail i covered every concept which could be possible so thank you so much for watching we will meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye